Hello everybody. So in today's lesson 6.7, we're going to do some problem solving with three digit subtraction. So let's look at the first question. There were 436 people at the art show. 219 people went home. How many people stayed at the art show? So underline the question and then let's circle the important information. We know that there were a total of 436 people. We know that 219 people went home. Well, that indicates that we have to subtract, right? So what do I need to find? I need to find how many people stayed at the art show. So. How many people stayed at the art show? What information do I need to know? Well, I need to know that there were 400 and 36 people at the art show. And then I need to know that 219 people went home. All right, so let's draw a model, okay? So we, we have decided that this is a subtraction problem because we had a certain amount and then 219 people went home. So they're no longer at the art show. All right, so let's represent 436. And we have to take away 219. Well, can we take nine ones from six ones? We can't, right? So we need to trade one of the tens for ten ones. Okay. Now, can we take away 9? Well, sure. Here's 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And to indicate taken away, we're going to cross that out. So how many 1s were left? 2, 4, 6, 7 1s were left. Now we have two 10s left here, right? Can I take away one 10? Yeah, I can take away a 1. So I'm just going to cross out that 10. Now I have one 10 left. And I have to take away two hundreds. Well, I can do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to cross out those two hundreds. So what am I left with? I'm left with two hundreds, one ten, and seven ones. So what would that look like regrouping in a normal problem? Well, we already said that we have six and we have to take away nine ones. And we said we can't do that. So we're going to change or trade one of the three tens for ten ones. Okay, so then that gave us 436 became 400, two tens, and 16 ones. So 420 plus 16 is still 436. 16 minus 9, we said, was 7. Two tens take away one ten, was one ten. And two hundreds, uh, four hundreds take away two hundreds, was 200. So there are 217 people still at the art show or stayed at the art show. Right, let's look at page 306. All right, make a model to solve and then draw a quick picture of your model. There are 532 pieces of art at the show. 319 pieces of art are paintings. How many pieces of art are not paintings? So if we take not paintings plus art that is paintings, we'll have 532. So we have to figure out of these 532 pieces, how many are not paintings? So 319 are paintings. And there's 532 total pieces. All right, so we have 532, and we have to take away the art that is paintings to figure out how many are not. Okay, so let's model this. We have 500, 32. Okay. So that's 532, and we have to take away from this 
319. Well, can I take 9 from 2? No. So, so let's trade 1 for 10 ones. Okay. Now, I have 12 ones. Now, can I take away 9? Yeah. 2. Well, let's just take 9 from here. Okay. Right, so that leaves us three ones. Now I have two tens left after trading the one ten, and I have to still take away one of those tens. So let's cross out that ten. That leaves me one ten. And in the hundreds, I have to take away three hundred. So how much do I have left? I have two hundreds, I have one ten, and I have three ones. Okay, so let's solve that using regrouping. I We said that we can't take nine ones from two ones, so we traded one of the three tens for ten ones, which gave us twelve ones. Now twelve minus nine left us three ones. Two tens minus one ten left us one ten. Five hundred minus three hundred left us Two hundred. So, two hundred and thirteen pieces of art are not paintings. Number two, two hundred forty-five children go to the face painting event. A hundred and fourteen of the children are boys. How many of the children are girls? Okay, so we know that if we add the girls plus the boys, it'll equal two hundred forty-five. But they told us the number of children that were boys. So if we subtract the number of boys from the total amount, that'll tell us the number of girls. So if we were setting this up, we'd have 245 minus 114. Okay, now when I look at this problem, I notice that I don't need to regroup, but I'm going to go ahead and show the model. So we have two hundreds, four tens, and five ones. Now we have to take away four ones. Okay, well, we can do that. We can take four from five. Okay, then we move to the tens and we have to take away one of the tens. Okay, I can do that as well. And then we go to the hundreds and we have to take away one of the hundreds. So what's left? One hundred, three tens and one one. So if we were subtracting this, five take away four is one. One one is left. Four tens take away one ten. We can do that. Three tens. And 200 minus 100 is 100. So 131 of the 245 children that went to the face painting event were girls. Okay, let's look at 307. Make a model to solve, then draw a quick picture of your model. There were 237 books on the table. Miss Jackson took 126 books off the table. How many books were still on the table? Okay, so that's what we have to figure out. She took off 126. There were 237. So, we have to subtract the 126 that she took off the table. The remaining amount will be what's left on the table. So, 237. 237. Okay, and we have to take away 126. Can I take six ones from seven ones? Yes. It's going to leave me one one. Can I take two tens from three tens? Yeah. Can I take one hundred from two hundred? Yes. So we're left with one hundred, one ten, and one one. So one hundred eleven books are remaining. Let's see. Seven minus six, one. 
Three tens minus two tens, one ten. Two hundreds minus one hundred, one hundred. So a hundred and eleven. And it come out as neat as I wanted it to. All right, 111 books were left. Number four, there were 232 postcards on the table. The children used 118 postcards. How many postcards were not used? So they used 118 and out of 232. So if we add up the number of not used plus the number used, we should get 232. Which is the same as saying 232 minus 118. Okay, so let's model 232. Okay, and I have to take away 118. That's how many postcards were used. Okay, can I take eight ones from two ones? No, so we're going to have to trade one of these ten. For 10 ones. Okay. All right. So we traded one of our tens for 10 ones. Now we have 12 ones. Can we take away eight? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. So if we take away eight ones, that leaves us four ones. Now I have two tens left after trading. Can I take away one of the tens? Yes. Right? So that's going to leave us 110. And now in the hundreds, I have to take away one of the hundreds. So I'm left with 100, 110, and four ones. So let's see. We said we have two ones and we have to take away eight ones. We couldn't do that. So we traded one of the tens for 10 ones, which gave us 12 ones. 12 ones take away 8 ones, plus the a difference of 4 ones. 2 tens take away 1 ten, was a difference of 1 ten. And 200 minus 100 gave us a difference of 100. So there were 114 postcards not used. Number 5. 164 children and 31 adults saw the movie in the morning. 125 children saw the movie in the afternoon. How many fewer children saw the movie in the afternoon than in the morning? How many fewer? Okay, so that's a clue of subtraction. How many fewer? So <clears throat> we have to figure out how many, wait, let's see, how many fewer children saw the movie. So do we need this 31 adults? We don't. We need 164 children and we need the number 125. So we have 164 minus 125. So let's model 164. Okay, so we have 164 and we have to subtract 125. I can't take five ones from these four ones. So we're going to have to trade one of the tens for ten ones. Okay. Now we have enough ones to take away five. Okay. I'm just going to take away these five. And that leaves us nine ones. Now I have two, four, five tens left after regrouping. I have to take away two of them. All right, so that leaves us 310. And I have to take away the remaining 100. All right, so we're left with 1, 2, 3 tens, and 9 ones. So when we subtract this, we should get 39. Can I take 5 from 4? No, so we regrouped for the 110 for 10 ones, and 14 take away 5 was 9. And five tens take away two tens was three tens. And 100 take away 100 gives us zero hundreds. 
So there's 39 fewer children in the afternoon. Okay, page 308. There were some grapes in a bowl. Clancy's friends ate 24 of the grapes. Then there were 175 grapes in the bowl. How many grapes were in the bowl before? So his friends ate 24. That left 175. So we can think of this as some number minus 24 has to equal 175. Well, if we take a, if we pretend that those 24 were not eaten and give them back to the 175, we can do 175 plus the amount that was eaten. So 5 minus, plus 4 is 9, and 7 plus 2 tens is 9 tens, and 100 plus nothing is 100. So 199 grapes. Now we can check our answer by subtracting 24 from 199. And 9 minus 4 is 5, and 9 minus 2 is 7, and 100 minus nothing is 175. So that is correct, 199 grapes. All right, number seven. At Gregory School, there are 547 boys and girls. There are 246 boys. How many girls are there? Okay. So if you add up all the boys and girls, you're going to get 547. Out of that, 246 are boys. So how many girls are there? So our subtraction problem would be 547 minus 246. So and it says draw a quick picture to solve. So let's model 547. All right. Now, from these seven ones, can I take away six? Yeah. That's going to leave me with one one. Now let's move to the ten to the tens. And it says I have to take away four tens. Okay, well, that's all of the tens. So now I have no tens left. And out of the hundreds, I have to take away two of them. So what's left? Three hundreds. Zero ten and one one. So seven minus six is one. Can we subtract four from four? Yes, that leaves us zero. And five minus two is three. So circle the number that makes the sentence true. There are 301 girls. Okay. All right, so that's it for problem solving using three digit subtraction and modeling it. So until our next lesson. I will see you soon.